Hello, all of my beautiful people out there in YouTube land. I want to thank you for joining me today on my channel, I'm here for you. My name is Desiree. I wanted to really share with you my experience at the Dominican Salon. I had a Dominican blowout for the first time on yesterday, which was April the 5th. I, for the very first time, I experienced a Dominican blowout. I love, love, love the end result of it. Oh my goodness. This, I really love this. Let me show you my hair. So, this is the side. And look how flow it is. Oh my goodness. But this is the side. See, even when I look down. Oh. So, yeah. This is the side. And this is the back. This is the back. And this is the side. Okay. I love the way my hair flows. Oh. Dark and lovely. However, loving the end result, hated the process. I probably won't do a Dominican blowout again. And let me rephrase that. I won't be doing a Dominican blowout again. I just, the process was just too stressful for me. First of all, I felt like I was in the production line. That's number one. I didn't like that feeling. There was a young lady who washed my hair. There was a young lady who rolled set my hair and put me under the dryer. Once I came from under the dryer, there was a young lady who blew my hair out. Then there was another lady who flat ironed my hair, and she also blew my hair out. I didn't like that. And that may have just been that salon, because I've known Dominican salons where I've had friends and coworkers to go into, and it's not that many people touching your head. I just didn't feel like, I just didn't like the feeling of being in a production line. Okay. Where... The horror began for me is when, after my hair was washed, the roller setting process, oh my goodness. Okay, so, <clears throat> first of all, she used a small tooth comb, which, when you're on a hair journey, your technique, your terminology, your understanding is just so different than everybody else. Even when you're going to some salons, you just, your understanding is just different. So, also, being on a healthy hair journey, you become hypersensitive about your hair, and I am. This young lady took a small tooth comb, parted my hair, and started to detangle from here. And she, this is how she held the comb and pulled down. Now, of course, I was like, "Wait, no, I don't, I don't really want you to detangle my hair like that." She explained that's how she does it, and I said, "I understand that, but I prefer." it done a different way on my head. So instead of going back and forth with me, she said, would you like to untangle your hair? And I said, sure, thank you. I went into my purse, pulled out my comb, and proceeded from the bottom up. And I did my whole head like that. Once I was finished, she then picked up her small tooth comb and started to roll it set my hair. And I was fine with that because it didn't tangle, it didn't snag or anything. Once the roller set was done. She put me on a dry and I stayed there 25 to 30 minutes. I was like, okay, this is a lot, but all right. After I was from under the dryer, I went to another young lady. This young lady took the rolls out and then proceeded to blow dry my hair. Where in the world do they get those blow dryers from? I mean, the heat was so intense. She took the round brush and started blow drying my hair out. And I had earrings on, not these particular ones, but I had some earrings on. The blow dryer actually heated the earrings up. They kept bumping into my face and I was like, wait, I'm getting third degree burns here. So I had to take the earrings out so my earrings wouldn't continue to burn me. I had to also wrap a towel around my neck because the heat was so intense on my neck. Now, she had this round brush and I, again, I understand the Dominican blowout and she was pulling and pull and I was like okay that's a lot of tension on my hair do you have to pull so hard she said oh I want to make sure your your roots are straight okay okay all right just okay just calm down it's gonna be okay and that's what I kept saying in my head just calm down it's gonna be okay just calm down it's gonna be okay once she finished blow drying my hair which I had to tell her to, to lighten up in some parts I moved to the next chair. The next chair, the young lady picked up the blow dryer again. I was like, she just finished blow drying my hair. She was like, oh, I know, but I want to ensure that it's really, really straight. I'm like, but she can't even put fly eyes in my hair. She was like, I know, I know, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I didn't want to argue. 
I just want at this point I just wanted to get it over with. So she proceeded to blow dry my hair and then she took the comb when she was getting ready to flat out my hair and started hearing it. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Can you not comb my hair like that? Cause you just she just blow dry, you just blow dry it, but it hasn't been combed through again. Can you ensure that it's not tangled and all oh, I am I'm doing you're breaking my hair. No, I'm not just shedding. Okay, first of all, healthy hair journey, you know the difference or have learned the difference between shedding hair and breaking hair. You know breakage is where your hair has broken off from somewhere in here, somewhere in here. Shedding hair is when you see a bulb at the end. There was no bulb. You're breaking my hair. I need you to detangle again. Matter of fact, can you stop letting, allow me to detangle, please? I sprayed chi on my hair again, detangled my hair, then she continued to flat iron. The heat from the flat iron, again, was so intense. I was like, my hair was going to be fried out. My hair sat back. I just saw this big red flash, flashing sign. They said, set back, set back, go home, get prepared to go to another salon, cut your hair back, cut your hair up, because they have literally burned your hair out your head. I mean, that's the thought I had because all this heat and then when the, she put the flat irons in my hair, all this smoke. I was like, why Why is the flat iron smoking like that? What is going on? Oh, it does that. No, no, no. What kind of flat iron do you have that's smoking like this in my hair? Now, the good thing is I didn't smell burning hair and I did make her spray the chi again. My daughter came in during the process and was standing over me like this. And I turned to her and said, what's wrong? What happened? She was like, she's handling your hair so well. Long story short, I love, again, the results. Love, love, love. Would I put my hair through that again? No, no, no. I'm not going to do that again. Now, while I was in the Dominican salon, she noticed that my edges that I've been attempting to grow up by using black Jamaican casserole are still fairly thin. Well, they're coming in, as you can see. But she suggested is caravan and it comes in a so it comes in a thing like this that came in this box, but it's like this. So and let me show you. This is kind of well it's a lot liquidy. Probably need to cut out the Starbucks, but see this is how it looks. And she says you only need a couple of drops on your edges. And I use it back here. And she said it's even good for your hair and just massage it in. Now, there was another client there who said she had edges like mine and used this. And hers grew on within a month, a month and a half. They start thickening up. So, I'm going to try this. If I try this for a month and I don't see any results, I'm taking this back. This was $35. $35. $35. Now, I did look at the ingredients before I purchased it, so it doesn't have any mineral oil or probate or petroleum. So, I did look at the ingredients. It has vitamin E, vitamin D12, um, castor oil. So, it has some things in it that are all natural. So, I'm going to go ahead and try this. Again, if I don't see the results, I'm taking this. $35, I'm taking this back. Also, I went to the natural food store here in Charlotte and purchased the original 100% um, black Jamaican casserole. I did have one that I purchased from a beauty supply store and it was working but it's working slowly. So I'm going to rotate this in. I actually gave the other black Jamaican casserole to my daughter because her edges are thicker than mine. But I'm going to rotate this in. I'm also going to try this. Now, I'm going to try this for maybe a week and if I don't see any adverse reactions to my hair I'm going to continue to use it. If I see breakage, shedding or my hair thinning out I'm going to immediately stop and take it back. I will be sealing with the organic virgin coconut oil so I'm going to be using that off as well. Hopefully my edges are I can get those to grow in because that's my challenge. Now my hair is in a healthy state in spite of the Dominican blowout, it's, I wanted to make sure my ends wasn't dry or breaking. I came home, assessed my hair to make sure that it wasn't any breakage from that experience, and it wasn't. Thank goodness I was taking care of my hair 
really, really, really well before that whole experience, but I won't do that again. Too, that was scary. But next, so my goal is to reach APL, and I don't think I'm gonna reach it by my birthday, but it's okay because my hair is healthy and I'm loving, loving, loving it. Not loving what I did to it, but I am loving my hair. Even so, going forward, what I'm gonna do is challenge myself to use no heat. So I will not be putting heat in my hair up until June. So my style of preference is gonna be plaid outs, braid outs, um, bantu knots, and any kind of up, cute updos that I can figure out how to do, but no heat. Because after that, I probably shouldn't put heat in my hair for a year. But yeah, I'm not gonna put any heat in my hair. So, my experience at the Dominican doobie shop or Dominican whatever, Dominican salon, won't be doing that again. Really, really happy with the results. The process terrified me. Will not do it again. In any case, have a safe journey. Be safe. Listen to your hair. Learn your hair. Focus on being patient. And your results will come. Talk to you later. Dr. Lovely.